You can't see them. You can't feel or touch them. But they are there. Threats to your data, your computer, your networks. To be strong and safe online, you need to stay ahead of cyber threats. Threats that include foreign states, hacktivists, criminals, and terrorists. These threat actors continually probe government systems, looking for vulnerabilities in order to gain access and take control. Once they have control, threat actors can steal information, corrupt its operations, or program it to infect other computers. Government networks are an attractive target to threat actors for many reasons. They house information about the ways in which our government operates. They hold trade secrets, intellectual property, and valuable data related to our economy. They are crucial in protecting the operations and sometimes the very lives of our foreign service, military, and law enforcement personnel. Government networks contain the personal information of Canadians, information that must be protected. To help protect Government of Canada networks against these threats, departments and agencies must be aware of the various inroads to government information. The distinct threat surfaces are the electronic threat, the electromagnetic threat, the physical threat, the personnel threat, the supply chain threat. The electronic threat is a popular way into government systems. Exploitation of a system can be done without a physical presence, making tracking the source of the compromise challenging. A threat actor may try to gain access to a Government of Canada system by way of an infected USB stick distributed to an employee or through a malicious attachment in an email. All electronic devices radiate electromagnetic signals which can contain sensitive data. The electromagnetic threat consists of exposures that allow a threat actor to connect or interact with these emissions. Greater dependence on wireless networks makes this type of intentional interference easier and potentially more damaging. In some cases, electromagnetic exploits have even been shown to destroy equipment. A physical threat can involve destroying, stealing or modifying physical devices. As physical media storage capacity can be extremely large, the theft of a single device can result in the compromise of millions of records at once. The personnel threat can take many forms, such as espionage, coercion and social engineering. These approaches often require little or no technical expertise. However, they allow threat actors to effectively access and steal from information systems. Power users such as system administrators must be especially careful. Their ability to access many parts of a network makes them prime targets. Social media can provide an additional avenue for threat actors to gather personal and identity information which can be used to facilitate online exploitation or coercion of a government employee. In order to gain access to information systems that are particularly well secured, a threat actor may choose to compromise a vulnerable element of the supply chain that supports these systems. Malware could be embedded in a device at the manufacturer prior to purchase. Seemingly new hardware could have been tampered with before it is even installed on government networks. If not properly verified, software updates and vendor patches could also be compromised, giving threat actors a way in after installation. By being aware of these threats and the continuous monitoring of the networks, departments and agencies can assess the possible impacts of security breaches. They can then prioritize mitigation activities based on the risks to systems and data. For more information related to securing government networks, visit our website to see the training opportunities available at the CSC ITS Learning Centre or contact CSC's ITS Client Services team for advice. Together, we can make sure our government's networks are among the most secure in the world.